I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website Global Math Institute. In this video, we'll focus on how do we sketch the graph of reciprocal functions when we are given cubic polynomials, right? Clearly, we are given a cubic polynomial and we need to sketch its reciprocal. That is what we are going to understand in this video. So the question here is, sketch graph of reciprocal of the following cubic functions. First one, y equals to x cube. Second, y equals to x cube minus 4x. And third, y equals to x times x plus 2 whole square. So let me first provide you with the rough sketches of these three graphs. And then we'll see how do we sketch the graph of their reciprocal in details, right? So to begin with, y equals to x cubed means we have 1, 0, which is right there at the origin. The graph is odd function, which looks like this, right? So this is the graph of x cubed. Clear, right? The second one here is x cubed minus 4x. You could actually factor uh, x here. So when you factor that, you get x squared minus 4, which basically means x times x plus 2 times x minus 2, right? So the graph has three zeros, one of them at plus 2, minus 2, and then one at 0. And leading coefficient being positive, the graph will kind of look like this. Clear? So that is the second graph, which is of x cubed minus 4x. Clear? The third graph is uh, x times x plus 2 whole square where we have two zeros, one at zero, the other one at minus two. And clearly, at minus two, we have a double zero. So it will go kind of like this. And then, so that could be the graph of the third function. Our exercise here is to sketch the graph of their reciprocals, right? Key point. So we'll understand, basically, how do we sketch reciprocal from the polynomial graph especially when we are given the cubic function. So here is the very first one. So what I've done here is uh, enlarged my graph of y equals to x cube, and then we will now look into the reciprocal. Now when I say reciprocal means we are looking for 1 over y or the graph of 1 over x cube. Is that clear to you, right? Now let's take a few points to begin with so that you know, it becomes important to understand how do we get our graph, right? One of the critical point here is zero itself. Now, if I put a value which is like one over zero, it means what? Well, one over zero is not defined, right? This actually is represented as a vertical asymptote. So at zero, we have a vertical asymptote, which I am drawing with a dashed line, vertical line. And the equation of this vertical line will be x equals to zero. At every point on this line, the value of x is zero. Perfect. So we should begin with the zeros of the graph, convert them to vertical asymptotes. The second point of interest is the invariant points, right? So when I say invariant, which do not change in both graphs. For example, 1 is equal to 1 over 1, right? And also, minus 1 is same as minus or 1 over 1, correct? So, reciprocal of 1 and negative 1 is also same. So, at 1, we expect exactly same value, which is right there. Do you see that? So, on this graph, if you look at the values minus 1 and 1, they will be invariant, perfect. So these points are invariant points are and are going to be common to the function and its reciprocal. Make sense? Another important thing to look into is what happens when x approaches a large value, plus or minus infinity. In that case, y approaches 0. So when you're approaching infinitely large value, the y value will approach zero, kind of like this. On the right-hand side, they approach from the positive side. So you're still in quadrant one. 
And on the left side, minus infinity, you approach towards 0, but from the negative side. You get an idea. So, so these are key points. Also, notice that if the value is half, in that case, the reciprocal of half will be 2. Do you see that? So the reciprocal of this point, which is half, right, will actually be 2. So the point was just there, now will move to this place. Similarly, minus half will represent as minus 2 in the graph. You get the idea, right? Similarly, the value which was 2 will now be half, right? So 2 becomes half, half becomes, uh, you know, 2. So that is how it should be. So this becomes half, right? So, so that is how the points will be. Now looking into these points, I could actually sketch my graph and the graph will look like this. Makes sense, correct? Similarly, on this side also, I could make a graph which will be, uh, as you've seen, going through the invariant point 1, right, and then moving towards the right. Doesn't make sense to you, right? So, so that is how it is going to be, right? So, so this 2 becomes half, as you can see here, right? Perfect. So that becomes the graph of our reciprocal function, which is 1 over x cube. Makes sense? So that is how we'll sketch. So the key here is that vertical asymptotes will go through 0 in this case. And then we also have a horizontal asymptote. So let me highlight the horizontal asymptote also, which is y equals to 0. Is that clear to you? So simple steps to sketch the reciprocal, identify the zeros, convert them to vertical asymptotes. Infinitely large will become 0, positive will remain positive, negative will remain negative, and the invariant points, plus and minus 1, right, will not change. Do you see that? So these are invariant points. So keeping this in view, now let's move forward and sketch the next graph. So I hope the reciprocal of x cube is absolutely clear to you, right? Well, in case you want to learn from me, you can always send an email on the address given. Let's move forward and take up the graph of y equals to x cubed minus 4x to sketch the function y equals to 1 over y, which is reciprocal of this. Let me rewrite this as 1 over x cubed minus 4x. Well, after factoring, as we saw, it will look like x times x squared minus 1, which is x plus 2 times x minus 2. So the graph of the function is given to us. Now, let's call this as g of x, reciprocal function, right? So we'll sketch g of x now. First step is to sketch the vertical asymptotes, right? So get the vertical asymptotes first. So vertical asymptotes will be at zeros. So I'm drawing the vertical asymptotes one by one, as you can see, right? This one is at x equals to 0. And then we have two other vertical asymptotes corresponding to the zeros of the graph, which are at x equals to minus 2 and at x equals to 2, right? So, so these are the vertical asymptotes. So first step, sketch the vertical asymptotes as I am doing, right? Second step, sketch the horizontal asymptote. Since the function approaches infinitely large values at the two ends, we have y equals to 0 as the horizontal asymptote. Make sense? Hmm. Now mark the points which are 1 on the function. So on the function, this is 1, right? This is 1 for us, and then that is minus 1, correct? So these are the points which are 1 and minus 1 on the graph. These points are called invariant points. Is that clear to you? So we have the invariant points, so mark invariant points. So let me write vertical and horizontal asymptotes, right? And invariant points, which means plus or minus 1 y values, correct? Now, positive is positive reciprocal. So we'll sketch the graph now. So let me use a different ink here. So we will go like this, going through 1, 
you see that correct so that is the right side here we look at this point which is almost three so one third will be the point and goes through this you see that right and here reciprocal of maximum will be minimum and so that goes like this and so you go and on the right side on the left side we have vertical asymptote and the horizontal asymptote y equals to 0 so that is how we are going to sketch the reciprocal of this particular function is that clear to you perfect right so once again in case you want to learn from me send an email on the given address last graph i like you to pause the video answer this question and then look into my suggestions first step identify the zeros so what really happens is that zeros become vertical asymptotes right so we'll draw vertical asymptote here so there are two vertical asymptotes in this particular case we are sketching the graph for 1 over x times x plus 2 whole square right so that is the graph which we are sketching we have a horizontal asymptote clearly which is h equals to 0 since it is y equals to 0 is your horizontal asymptote let me write down the equations x equals to minus 2 and x equals to 0 as the two vertical asymptotes clear now let's identify the invariant points right plus and minus 1 will remain plus and minus 1 right so plus and minus 1 that those are the points so these are common to both now we have to just sketch the graph joining these right so let me change the ink and then sketch it right so from here it goes towards negative side as you can see right so negative reciprocal is negative positive reciprocal is positive so simple as that so that is the sketch for the reciprocal right so i hope you have understood these steps always remember reciprocal of positive is positive reciprocal of negative is negative and invariant points are where both the graphs have common points and these are where the y values are plus and minus one perfect so i hope with this you have understood the whole concept how do we sketch the graph of reciprocal in this case, we got the graph of x times x plus 2 whole square. Perfect. Feel free to write your comment, share your views. In case you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. You can also send an email on the address given for any queries and learning from me. Thanks for your time and all the best.